All right, today we're gonna find out if you install a tune on a stock truck, do you get any better fuel mileage? I've heard people say it's not worth it to tune a stock truck. You should wait until you get the delete done. Today we're gonna find out if we can increase the mile per gallon with this tune. All right, we're gonna reset our trip and then do a 45 mile loop. First, we'll look at what the truck's computer says. Then we'll use the same method that Andre uses on TFL. We'll fill up the truck until the pump clicks. Then we'll wait 30 seconds, then pump again until it clicks one more time. Now what we have here is a 2019 Ram 3500 Dually. Now the Duallys always get worse gas mileage because there's more weight and a lot more rolling resistance. So yeah, I understand that you definitely don't buy these trucks for the fuel mileage. But what we're really trying to figure out here is can you add power and fuel mileage at the same time. All right, pulling back into the fuel station, the truck's computer is showing 15.1 mile per gallon. I chose this route because it has zero traffic on it, but there are a lot of hills. Here in Alaska, you don't find that many 45 mile stretches that are perfectly flat. So how many of you have tuned your stock truck? Leave a comment down below if you were waiting to tune until you got your truck deleted like I was. All right, like the fast lane truck, we're gonna go ahead and pump until it clicks. All right, now we waited 30 seconds. Now we're gonna pump again until it clicks one last time. All right, that's 3.310 gallons. All right, our loop was 45 miles divided by 3.31 gallons. All right, that's 13.59 mile per gallon or 13.6 if you round up. The truck's computer is off by one and a half mile per gallon. All right, let's install this 30 horsepower tune and see if we have any improvements. If you want to watch the video on the install of the tune, I'll put a tag right here just above on the screen. All right, we're going to pull up to the same spot right at this light here, and then we're going to reset the trip. All right, we'll get back up to 65, set the cruise, and do it again. I am surprised that the truck's computer is one and a half mile per gallon off. That's, that's quite a bit. All right, since adding the tune, the truck is way more peppy. The throttle feels more crisp. There's no delay. Just with the pedal feel alone, I would almost say that's worth buying this tune. So far, going up and down all these hills, the truck's computer is saying there's a three to four mile per gallon gain. If that's true and there's a three to four mile per gallon gain, that's huge. All right, we climbed this last big hill and got to the turnaround point. We're showing 16 miles per gallon. That's great because this last hill was steep and it was about five miles long. far the computer is showing a pretty good improvement. Let's hope that translates over to the pump in the real world. With fuel prices getting up around $3.60 a gallon, I would even be excited about a half mile per gallon better. All right, we're gonna go through the same process again. We're gonna fill it up until it clicks. Now we wait 30 seconds and then top it off one more time. All right, that's 2.449 gallons. That is a pretty good improvement for a 45 mile loop. 
All right, let's see what that comes out to. 45 miles divided by 2.449. Eighteen point three seven. Wow. All right. First of all, we'll say uh, the computer is definitely off in this truck, uh, but the improvement is huge. I can't. I can't believe it. It's. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this a couple more times. Um, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting half mile per gallon. Maybe one mile per gallon difference. Not five. Five, that's, that's crazy. Those are like numbers you'd see from deleting your truck. All right, we've run this 45 mile loop three times and these numbers are consistent. That being said, the truck's no more efficient when it's idling. So if you're sitting in traffic or uh, sitting in a lot of stoplights, it, it is no more efficient then. In town, we've only seen about a one mile per gallon gain. And when you're going over 80 miles per hour, you're getting little to no improvement at all. The sweet spot is about 65 miles per hour or going uphill. I feel like the miles per gallon when towing is gonna really increase. Unfortunately, that's gonna have to wait a while because up here in Alaska, our trailer's already snowed in. Our driveway's a 10% grade and it's just a sheet of ice right now. So we're gonna have to wait till the spring to get the towing numbers. Like always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. We've got a few more Ram heavy duty videos coming out soon.